Now then, ladies, gather around. Gather around. Let me present to you the Bentley of weapons systems, the Gucci of nuclear arms, the Manolo of mass destruction. This is the accessory to end all accessories. I give you the Trident D5 missile. 65 years after Hiroshima, there is still enough nuclear weapons to destroy our planet 20 times over. Whilst our government says it's committed to building a safe and secure world, it is planning to spend £90 billion on new nuclear weapons that will last for another 50 years. The way I look at it is that nuclear weapons um, are a, an enormous source of mistrust, uh, lack of confidence, and we tend to always look at the end point. We tend to always think about uh, the fact that, that some states have nuclear weapons and some don't. We've got common ground here around the intention of having a, a world stable, safe, secure and without nuclear weapons. So let's talk about it. My view, which is unchanged in 30 years, is that nuclear weapons are a complete madness. No, we don't need 100 billion pounds of nuclear weapons. We're in some kind of, what is it, what's the deficit now? No country need nuclear weapons, none. Having lived through the Cold War era, I think we need to still need a nuclear deterrent. Why not stop this trident and instead save three billion and use it on your own uh, citizen? It can be difficult for emerging policymakers, for younger generations, to understand why they might want to be engaged. The young generation, this is who the decisions are going to be for. So they need to be part of the debate. They need to be heard. Many of my students in Japan were really aware of issues around um, nuclear weapons. And I think it's really important that young people in the UK are also made aware of these same issues because whether they know it or not, these issues could go on in the future to affect them too. The problem with nuclear weapons and specifically the debate surrounding nuclear weapons is the complexity and the inaccessibility. Um, you only have to look at Hiroshima and Nagasaki um, to see the destruction they cause and the fact that the WNDs we have today are so much more destructive is very worrying. And not enough people are aware of the weapons that we have and who has them. Um, the continued possession of nuclear weapons um, really risks their use and proliferation. Um, this is also going against the nuclear weapon state's uh, obligations under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. So for me this is a critical moment. Is the UK going to act materially intelligently with wisdom and choose this moment now to get rid of its own nuclear deterrent? Or is it, in fact, going to stick with what it's thought of as a useful deterrent for decades now and simply repeat the mistakes of the past?